All right, this is part two to the paraplegic sex video. I gave you some information and some factual things and things to think about and you know that everyone's different, every situation's different, every paraplegic is unique. So just remember all that and if uh, you didn't watch that video, you know, go check it out. I tried to cover as much as I could remember without, you know, having, you know, a list. So on a personal level, why I'm making these videos. In the beginning, I didn't want to make one. I'm just like, if people want to know, they're going to ask. Because think about it. Put yourself in my shoes. Uh, I, I, I obviously deal with this question or, or just people in the back of their heads think or assume I can't have sex. And if I'm interested in a girl on a personal level, remember, this is all my opinion here. I want them to not just assume that I can't and like me have less of a chance because of that. So think about it. Well, people go, well, why don't you just tell people? How do I tell you? How do I just, oh, hey, you know, like say it's a girl I like, oh, hey, by the way, just in case you were wondering, you know, I still work, wink, wink. Like that's, that's douchebaggery right there. That's just so stupid. I can't just come out and be like, hey, I work, just in case you were wondering, you were, you know, thinking about it. So just ask, and that's me at least. Some people might get offended if they do, I mean, I'm sorry, I'm just not that guy. You know what offends me though? Like, I've gotten every spectrum of the question, meaning I've gotten it as the literal first question someone said to me, first words they've spoken to me, and I've also gotten the other end where a girl was interested and she never asked me because she thought it was rude or something. So let's like get to that first question, girl. I never forget, at the local bar. She comes up to me, someone must have told her, uh, so you're paralyzed, right? And I'm like, yeah. She's like, does your mm, work? And I'm just like, like it just kind of irritated me. Like she was the hottest girl in the bar. I was interested. And then she asked me with that question. I just feel like it's rude. Like what that says in the back of my head, what I'm thinking is, She's only interested in me if I work. And if I don't, she's walking away, which is just rude. So in my opinion, just give me some buffer questions. Hey, what's your name? You know, where are you from? What do you like? What do you do? This and that. And then, hey, by the way, I was wondering, I was curious, how does, just buffer question it. Don't, not first question. And then on the opposite end of the scale, I've had girls that I liked and I found out later they liked me and uh, we just never got to that question. And then years down the road, I run into them and they, oh, I always wondered, I'm like, why didn't you ask me? Oh, I thought it was rude. And then there's all those girls in the middle. And then I'll never forget this one time I was at the, this arcade bar in Lakewood out here where you can drink and play these arcade video games. It's pretty cool. Me and my friend were playing a game and he's like, why don't you just tell girls? I'm sure they're curious. And this girl, two games over, chimed in. She's like, yeah, actually, I knew this paralyzed guy years ago and I always wonder, I was just too scared to ask and I'm like, look, just ask. So that's one of the big reasons why I'm making this video because people are either too afraid to ask or people wanna know but they don't wanna ask. There's all kinds of. And now on a personal level, me, I do have an eight-year-old daughter. I've been paralyzed 11 years now. Uh, thankfully, I don't need, to see in the beginning, Okay, let me just get that out the way real quick. I made her with no help, no medicines, no nothing, all natural. And uh, in the beginning, I didn't like know what to do. You know, I was used to traditional. So I didn't know how to get it up, how to keep it up. Uh, it definitely took, what, almost a year. Actually, I'm surprised I figured that out within the first year that I can still ejaculate, thankfully. Uh, so pretty much for me, I tried Cialis and Viagra and other things and they, they you know, make it happen and make it stay and just make me Superman. But I mean, they make any guy Superman pretty much. So those help, but I found out I can, you know, just get it up and keep it up naturally, even though I can't feel it. Uh, if I just think about it or, you know, just, you know, play with it, rub with it a little bit. And the ejaculate part is pretty much like, 
I obviously don't masturbate anymore because what, what does a guy masturbate for to get that mental satisfaction and blah, blah, blah. I don't get that satisfaction, I guess you could say. I still enjoy it a lot and it's still very important and meaningful and all that. Like, it's almost on a more sensual, more like intimate level. Like, I love it. It's hard to explain. Love it. But anyways, uh, so if a girl knows what she's doing and, you know, I guess you could say rides uh, well, <laughs> she can make it happen and it was a, a crazy experience because when it first happened I was just like me personally my like body spasms it shakes my abs like get tight and contract and next thing you know I see some milky stuff <laughs> so it's pretty crazy and it was definitely oh yeah and my spasms and my legs and everything get just completely relaxed and for like the next like hour or two, I'm like, my legs are dead and it's pretty crazy. So there's the, I can get erect, I can ejaculate and uh, oh yeah, obviously on a, another personal level, I have a physical disability. Thankfully I can still do on top and obviously on bottom and then in the chair, in the car, on the shower, you know, the couch, whatever, the floor. <laughs> Uh, but I can't do like obviously certain standing positions that you would traditionally think of so On a personal level. I you know most paraplegics you can only assume Get better at other things like going downtown so That's like as much as I can remember on the personal level still most paraplegics still can you just ask and uh, thankfully for me, I'm a blessed guy. I live independently, and I'm really blessed for that. Uh, give me some questions and some feedback. I might make a part three. I'm sure I missed some stuff. Thank you for watching. If you learned something or liked it, you know, like, subscribe, uh, throw a comment on there. Let me know what else I should make. Thank you for watching.